Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's essential strength exercises. And these moves are important to maintain muscle tone. Now, as we know, as we get on in years, it's really important that we try and maintain bone density and muscle tone to keep our metabolisms healthy and functioning well for us. And one of the best ways you can do that is by actually lifting some weight. They don't have to be extremely heavy or overcome your body with the weight. Some light to moderate weight is fine, okay? All right, so let's get warmed up first and I'll just explain a little bit of how today's workout is going to, to uh, work out for us. Push the arms back now as we step touch. So we have four sets of four exercises. We'll be repeating each set twice. We'll be working opposing muscle groups here today. So if you don't know what that is, in our bodies, we ha our muscles balance each other out. So the, the thigh muscles at the front, the quads, work with the hamstrings to keep the body um, balanced and functioning, okay, and provide movement for us. In the upper half, we have the chest, same idea, works with the back muscles. We have our abdominals, work with the lower back muscles, and so on, okay? So biceps and triceps is another one that comes to mind. So I have included a lot of muscle, opposing muscle groups today to get our bodies now nice and balanced and to bring strength um, and stamina into all of these muscle groups. Okay, let's punch out the ceiling now. We're gonna warm up those shoulders. All right, so we're working for a sequence of 15 seconds to transition and 45 seconds to do the work. Now there are a few exercises down on the floor, but I will give you alternatives. I have a mat here, you mightn't see it now, it's just out of shot of the camera here. So you may need a mat if you're working on a hard surface and a, a chair, because we want to use a chair for some of the exercises. Okay, now I'm going to talk you through a few that I know some people don't like going to the floor, they have difficulty going to the floor. Um, so I will talk you through some alternatives for you. Okay, all right, let's do four more. And three, and two, and one. Let's march it out. Now also here, I have, keep marching there. This is a little Pilates pillow, okay, a little cushion. You don't have to have anything like this. Um, a household cushion is fine. Or you could just use a rolled up towel, okay? And the whole idea of that is a lot of people to develop terrible tension in their neck muscles when they're doing any abdominal mat work, any abdominal exercises down on a mat. And it's just simply, first of all, you be, may lack strength in that area because your body's not used to being in that position, but also keep marching there. Now let's get the arms going. A lot of people tend to look up at the ceiling when they're working their abdominals, so they're overextending their neck. They're taking their neck out of a neutral position or else they'll do the opposite. They'll overflex where they bring the chin too near the chest. You should also do your fist check. Use your fist or apple or orange is another uh, way to look at it, that you can fit an apple and orange underneath your chin or your fist is a good one because it's always with you. Okay, so, um, so you, that just makes sure you're not overextending or overflexing. The pillow is important because it actually helps to stop when you lie down without a pillow, you can imagine at night time what your neck would feel like the next morning, you'd be overextending your neck and then you'd be driving your neck further and further from the ground up towards your, up towards the, your C curve position to work your tummy. So straight away, your neck is fatigued. So the pillow just prevents that from happening, okay? All right, let's drive those legs up. So try that if you can get to the floor, but your, your poor old neck puts you off, give that a go, okay? Try a pillow underneath your head and try those little maneuvers, not looking up at the ceiling, but not looking down, not having your chin on your chest either. Look between the little gap in your legs if you have your knees up at a 90 degree angle. Look between the little gap between your knees. That's the best position for your neck. Okay, let's dry those legs up. Let's kick out now, good. Kick and kick. Warm up the hamstrings a little bit here too. Great. Now we have single arm row coming up in set three. 
just make sure you know what side you've worked because we're not working the other side till we get to the second round of it so you might forget so just uh, have a little note in your head what side you start with I'm just going to start with right because I usually do so then I know I have my left to do okay now we also have the lying on the floor the Superman pull downs love that exercise it's wonderful mobility if you can't get to the floor just try it on a bed okay give it a go on a bed see how you go you might want to pull your duvet down out of your way and just do it on the mattress but whatever you have to do okay because it's it's a it's, it's a shame to leave that exercise out because it is a great move to work the lats and it's great for shoulder mobility and it also strengthens your lower back okay some of the uh, tummy exercises you can do on a chair if you can't get to the floor okay or even your bed all right don't underestimate your own furniture in your house it's actually wonderful for getting you to get into to do certain exercise that you may actually ignore or just feel I can't do that exercise I can't get to the floor punch you out here now great let's do four three two and one now let's open our legs stretch across back to the center pull belly button to spine good that's it stretch across I also have a chest press coming I am going to do it down on the floor but if you can't get to the floor you can do an upright chest press where the dumbbells come forward pull back or what other option I had for you oh yeah yeah the bed the bed is the other option good and it'll work very well on a bed particularly if you have a firm mattress which I hope you do for your poor old back <laughs> okay so across that's it reaching well done so anything on the floor give it a go on the bed and the tummy ones will work really well just sitting upright on a chair okay that's it good and reach up and as well as that if you're just so overcome by neck discomfort try your abdominal workout workouts on just upright seated on a chair reaching across and last one okay will we get going with this workout right all right so we're going to start off with box squat that's using the chair you can do it standing if you want to and then the weights are going to sit on your shoulders and we're just going to tap the chair we're not sitting back we're going to maintain a neutral spine so that's pubic bone going down towards the chair if you remember we talk about it a few times here you've got your hip bones here at the front and your pubic bone just underneath forms a triangle you've got to maintain that triangle so we're not sitting back and we're not going too far forward so and then you push yourself out of the chair and reach those dumb oh, sorry we're not doing any upper body work this is all lower half it's ingrained in me to get those shoulders worked <laughs> so we're just going to rest the weights here tap the chair stand up okay put the chair again up against something if you feel it's going to move if you're on a wooden floor you probably you'll be fine on a carpet and drive yourself up squeezing those glutes okay that's the first move we get ready and go all right okay now if you don't want 15 seconds you can work away there yourself okay so make sure you don't miss the chair as well you have it all centered up and pull your belly button now into your spine and let's go tap the chair stand up tap the chair stand up now we do have shoulder work coming up but I want to keep set one strictly for the lower body here for the front and the back of the legs good tap in the chair so squatting is great for hitting the quads or the thigh muscles stand up tall and the glutes the next exercise are ordls or romanian deadlifts or stiff leg deadlifts is a very common name to work your hamstrings that's it and stand up squeezing those glutes good and reach well done we just finish it here good work now I'll show you the ordeals we've done them a few times on the videos I want you to imagine you're bumping something with your bum there okay like a car door or something so really extend those hips back there behind you let the dumbbells just run down the front of your legs just a little bit past your knees is fine I think if you go any further down towards your feet you'll probably end up then just bringing the lower back into it 
and we really want to target the hamstrings now. You should feel a pull in the back of your legs. Just feeling like your hamstrings are like an elastic band being stretched. That's it, really feeling that there. Good. And up tall. Well done. Use your breath as well, so take a breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Okay, now into narrow squat. Love, love narrow squat. The legs are just close to each other. Where it gets its name, watch your chair behind you. Down we go. And what I like about narrow squat, not ad adding any upper body exercises here either. Right, let's go. There's our work beep. Is that you can, most people can actually get down quite deep into a narrow squat, which means you're going to get more work for the quadriceps at the front. So we're back to working those quads and glutes again. I think with a lot of leg exercises, the glutes do come into play. So we're hitting the glutes as well. Good. And up tall. One muscle group we may miss today is probably the hip flexors, which oppose the glutes. But we work those so much in our everyday lives. And we work them a lot with the cardio workouts that I do. So I'm not too pushed about those. All right. Okay, they are important, but uh, we focus a little bit more on glutes and quads and hands there in round one. Okay, set one. Now dumbbell swing is next. This is back to working glutes and hamstrings. And squeeze out that rear. Try not to lean all the way back. And you can bring the dumbbell maybe just a little bit above the belly button. It doesn't have to come all the way up in the air. Just focus on the lower half here. Hip extension. Extending those hips. Squeeze out those glutes. That's it. Good. Well done. Good work. Working your abs here a little bit as well. They just are very instrumental in a lot of exercises that we do. Good. And squeeze. Good. So it's like you're coming up into a upright plank here. Now we're back to the box squat now. Well done. All right. So if you don't want your rest, you don't feel like you need it, that you can go straight away. Again, watching the chairs in the right position for you. Don't want to miss it when you sit down. Let's go. Tap it out. Stand tall. Tap it out. Squeezing out your bum cheeks. Good. Well done. And up nice and tall. You should feel some work now going on in the front of the legs little bit into your bum cheeks as well, particularly after those swings. RDLs are coming again next. Sit down and reach. And this is actually a workout where you might, if you have those heavier dumbbells that never seem to see the light of day, some of these exercises might be uh, useful for those particular moves. Okay. All right, RDLs. So again, just pushing your hips back behind you, running the dumbbells down the front of your legs, not going too far down the front of your legs. Okay, just focus on keeping your neck in a neutral position. That's it. Come up tall. It feels like you're not really doing much here, but believe me, this is wonderful work for your posterior chain, which are the muscles that run behind you. That's your glutes hamstrings, good, and come up tall, that's it, good work, push your hips back, so you really have to focus on the hips going back, out behind you, well done, come up tall, take your time, again, strength training, strict tra strength training, we have to go a little bit slower, well done, right, let's go into our narrow squat now, okay, so again, the feet are quite close to each other. Just make sure you're not going to hit the, uh, the kitchen chair behind you there. And you're reaching those weights down towards the floor. You don't have to touch the floor. And come up. Good. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Good. Keep going with this one. And again, an arrow squat is one that's very popular with all the workouts that I do here. I really just love this exercise. It's, it's so versatile. That's it. And again, sticking your bum right out behind you there. Good. That's it. Get that breath out to help drive that body up out of the hole. Well done. And we finish out here. And we get ready now for some dumbbell swing. Okay, so a little bit of a tricky exercise to get the technique right. Move that chair out of the way. Okay, so pass under the legs, come up into an upright plank. That's it, squeeze out those glutes. You can see I'm not bending too far at the waist. That's it, come up. The dumbbell is coming up just around belly button height or a little higher. Good. You're keeping your legs pretty stiff. You'll notice it's not a squat, so you're not going sitting your hips down low or anything. It's really all coming from the hamstrings. That's it, good. It's quite like the RDL, the Romanian deadlift or that stiff leg deadlift. Right, that's eight minutes. Now we have to move on to back rows. Okay. Right, so we're gonna get into position. Sit your bottom back, back behind you there, and then row those elbows behind you, okay? So row and back, long arms to the front here, row back. Getting a full range of movement there. Great. Pull those elbows back, come back to starting position. Keep that neck relaxed, that's it, good. Now we have the chest press next. Remember, if you can't get to the floor, just do an upright chest press, which we do a lot here with the videos, or you could try it on your bed. Just, just push that duvet or blankets out of your way. Lie flat on your mattress there. That's it, good. Upright chest press, forward and back. Watch if you're going a bit heavier with your weights with an upright chest press. Now, because it can be a little bit tricky with heavier weights upright, Right, we get down onto the floor. Okay, let's go for this. Push the weights to the ceiling. That's it, good. Use your breath here as well. Breathe out as the weights come up. In on the return. Now you might feel like the range of movement's very short here, like the floor is in the way. You might see people in a gym using a bench where the elbows are free to fall a little bit. But I think here the floor is wonderful to protect you, protect you or anybody really from overstretching the uh, shoulder there, okay? Or and protecting the elbows. Well, you can tend to go a little bit too far. That floor just gives that little bit of protection. Okay, now what have we got next? Upright back rowing. Now what I'm going to do with that one is... I'm gonna go down a little bit and wait, but if you can experiment yourself. So we are going up, rowing, back to the starting position. Up, row, back. Up, row, and back. I love these type of back exercises with very light weight. I feel like if you use a heavier weight, your upper back muscles um, get overwhelmed very quickly that's it so I really like these ones done with a band or light weights up back down now we've got some alternating chest adductions with a bicep curl and that's coming next up back down up back and down well done now chest adductions a great exercise if you find going to the floor difficult this is an alternative crossing the body but I'm adding a bicep curl cross the body bicep curl let's go together cross the body bicep curl well done cross the body bicep curl cross curl well done cross 
and a curl. Now while I think of it, I am getting biceps in here today and with the single arm row, the triceps we will get in with the cobra which is coming up in the last set. So I want to get a bit more triceps. So I'm adding an extra exercise in today. It should have been a 32 minute workout. It's going to be 33 minutes because I'm going to do some kickbacks because I don't want the triceps to be left out because this is all about providing balance for the body. All right, we're back to back rows. Are you ready for this one? So if you want to get going and get a few extra reps, you can. If you need the rest, take it, it's fine. P pushing the hips back behind you. Starting position, row back. Good, row. Well done, row. That's it, squeezing those shoulder blades slightly there together behind you. Good, keep your neck in neutral, keep it relaxed. And again, as I always say with strength, I never, never look for like lots and lots of reps. I just like to do about 10 to 15 good reps, decent reps, where you know, feeling the body working there, making that connection with your muscles. Good. Chest press again, so either the floor, your bed, or upright. Or what you could do even is just some push-ups. And if you can't get to the floor for push-ups, you can do the push-ups against the wall. All right, just bringing your nose to the door of the wall. Right, let's get down and we'll do a few more reps here. Gently going down. Well done. If that Pilates pillow or any cushion will come in handy here as well, keeping the neck relaxed. You should never really lie down on the floor to do exercises unless your neck is relaxed. Good. Breathing out, breathing in. Try and lift the weights evenly. I know you'll probably find one side is a little bit lagging behind the other. That's quite normal. But just be aware of it and try and... You might have to do just a few single side reps for the side that's lagging behind. For me, that would probably more likely be the left. Do a few reps on that side on its own. Well done, okay, good work. Now we're into that upright back rowing. Leave these here, okay. So I'm dropping down again for that one. Okay, right. So we are going to lift up, pull down, back to the start. Row, start. Up, row, start. When you lift up here, row down, you can really feel an amazing amount of work going on in the upper traps. There are your posture muscles that keep your spine erect, the trapezius and rhomboids, and down. Good. Up, back, down. Those chest adductions with bicep curl are coming next. And down, up, back, down, take your time, up, back, and down. Particularly if you're going with lighter weights, you'll probably feel you can get more into your time. Right, back up to a heavier weight. These are three kilograms each, about seven pounds each. So, chest adduction. You can go if you want to, if you don't want to wait. And over, and bicep curl. Try and get that weight over towards the opposite shoulder. Curl up towards the shoulder then, opposite. Curl, that's it, over, curl. And again, don't swing the weight, particularly if you have a weight that's not, you know, that's uh, not really heavy. You might be um, tempted to swing. Good. Now curl up to your shoulder, that's it, over, and curl. Now we've, we're going on to shoulders and lats for the next set. Okay, so this is where you need to choose wisely for your shoulders. They're a much smaller muscle group than say the quads or the hamstrings. I'll stick with these. I'm going to go seated, bring the weights up. Remember, pubic bone down to the chair so you don't arch your back. That's it, that's really important. Don't slouch here. Nice straight spine for me. Breathe out, breathe in. Use that breath to get the weights over your head. 
breathe in. You can also do this standing as well if you prefer. I like to, when I stand, I like to do it with my legs staggered. I think it really helps my lower back. Now we have our single arm rows coming next. That's an exercise where you probably will be able to get away with a heavier weight. There's a lot of muscle groups going to come into play with single arm row. I'm going to start on the right, so I know round two I have to do left. Well done, okay, good work. Right, I'm going to use my chair to help me out here a little bit. I like having something to lean on. Starting on the right side, stagger the legs, pull your belly button into your spine and row the weight back behind you. Now you can see it is tricky to get your back muscles worked at home. I know if you've ever been to a gym, you'll see all sorts of fancy equipment to, to hit the back. But um, it is very possible, but it's a lot of rowing. But I always, I love rowing exercises and I always include them in every workout that I do. There's never a workout goes by where I'm not rowing. And I have a little saying, a row a day keeps the doctor away. Because it's wonderful for your back and your posture. Keeps that pain out of the... the uh, the, the back by um, improper positioning or poor posture. Good, now we're doing the other side next. Now we have those supermans coming next. So this is where you have to decide. If you want to, you can actually sit on a chair and just do some pull downs, kind of like this, the shoulder press there we've just done. Sit on the chair, I can do it standing. Go to your bed or join me here on the floor. All right, this is a challenging exercise. So I want you to bring your legs together, come up, reach forward, bring the elbows down to your waist. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. This is a wonderful exercise to work your latissimus dorsi. It brings great mobility into your shoulders. Keep going there. Don't worry if you can only do five reps and you need a rest. That's fine. Well done. And come on up out of it. Okay. Now we are going to do front and lateral raises. Again, choosing your weight. Don't go too heavy in these. I'll give these blue ones a go. But just be careful you don't go too heavy. Okay. Right. So we've got front and lateral. We want to be feeling... The muscles working hard at the end of the set, at the end of our 45 seconds, but we want good form. Now you can stagger the legs here as well, it does help your lower back. Good. We'll repeat these moves again now, we're back to seated shoulder press. So we actually have two shoulder press exercises in a row. We have nice toned shoulders here. Good, keep going. Now we're nearly there. And out to the side. Okay, let's give the rest to the shoulders. I think they'll need it here. <clears throat> now, back to seated shoulder press. Okay, pubic bone heading down towards the seat of the chair. Let's go. And in. Good, try not to lean back. Maintain that good posture for me. Single arm on the left hand side, if you started on the right round one, is next, using the chair as assistance. Now we're going to move on uh, to set, goodness me, we are on set four already after the, we get through these few exercises, but uh, we're going to do abdominals and back because they oppose each other, your lower back that is. Now again, like I was explaining to you earlier in the workout, if you can't get to the floor, there are plenty of options for you, okay? There's the bed and there's always your chair, okay? Now, where, where am I now? Single arm row, okay. Left hand side. Okay, let's get ready for that one. Stagger the legs, draw your belly button to your spine. Good positioning. And keep the elbow close to your body. Don't let it wander away. That's it. Keep it close. That keeps it safe. 
draw that weight back lower down slowly slow on the return there you go let your body work against gravity rather than momentum taking over good keep going superman is next with those pull downs so if you feel like you can't do it on the floor or even your bed just try the seated option where you're pulling your elbows down to your hips okay so again seated option elbows to hips or you could do it standing all right if you want to get to the floor join me here okay so let's go down lower down gently and then just bring bring your belly button to your spine come up into position and draw those elbows down to your hips just make sure that you've cleared your space there around you keep your neck in a neutral position so just look down at the mat good keep going it's tough it's a hard exercise and I think body weight is more than enough to work the muscles I mean I do see people using very light weights with this exercise but I think the body weight is oh stretch it out there I think we need it more than enough it's quite tiring all right now we are yes we're on the last exercise for round rest set three okay let's go for it front and lateral raises if you want to stagger those feet and lateral front lateral good front and lateral well done you're feeling the shoulders are on fire yeah the upper half is really burning here today good lift and out to the side good working the front of your shoulder and now out to the side and we did shoulder press at the beginning of this set to work the shoulders as a whole that's it good work up and out well done okay now we'll go on to the last set remember you can always do this on a chair or your bed so if you want to I'll just show you quickly here on the chair reach for your toe with this one okay if you want to come to the floor remember your little Pilates pillow but my head's going to be up really with these tummy exercises one foot up second foot pull that belly button into spine good and reach and reach reaching there towards your ankles don't worry if you can't get your ankles just touch your knees holding that C curve is going to really work those tummy muscles good breathe in breathe out try and keep your neck in that neutral position that we spoke about earlier so you're not looking up at the ceiling and you're not cramming your chin down on your chest you got to rem remind yourself of that okay now I'll just move this mat back make sure I'm in the shop for you okay Cobra now this is going to work the triceps as well so a little bit of tricep work coming into the workout today we'll uh, add a tricep exercise at the end just to make sure we really do hit those muscles as well because we've done some biceps today as well good and reach up reach down so breathe in to get ready breathe out to lift breathe in to hold breathe out to return and down you can take it in two breaths then if you want to speed it up breathe out breathe in good and breathe in now if you want to if you felt that was a bit rushed you could just do a few reps yourself at the end of this workout okay onto the chair clap hands underneath if you're not onto the floor clap hands underneath you can actually I always say try and hold neutral but I find with that exercise just a slight lean back on the chair helps you to feel those muscles a little bit more and we're going to come up into our C curve here remember that chin it's not on your chest 
and you're not overextending your neck. Neutral, look between the legs here. You've got a little window here between your legs. And clap your hands. Now we have a bird dog coming next, a very popular back exercise, lower back exercise, or back, your whole back really, your back as a whole. And you can do that on a bed. You can actually even try it on the chair as well. Chair just for support. Okay, or down here on the floor. So bird dog on all fours. Pull your belly button to your spine. Reach, hold for a second, and reach. Now you've plenty of options here. You can switch sides. We do have two rounds, or you can do one side per round. Okay, so I'm starting on the right hand here, left leg. And reach and extend. You can hold it for a second or two. Reach and extend. If you want to try this on your chair, if you can't get to the floor, rest your knee on the chair. Give it a go. I don't know. It depends on how wide the seat of your chair is. You might have to put some padding down for that knee. If you do it on the bed, it obviously be a bit wobbly. You'll be giving yourself an extra challenge. Good. And stretch. Now we're back to single leg stretch. Up onto the chair there. If you don't want to go onto the floor, we get a few more reps here. So bringing that leg up, second leg up. I didn't lie down. I think if you lie down, you're really asking for trouble for your neck. So I, st I kept my head up and I'm just used to bringing my neck into this position from years of working, years of doing tummy exercises. So you'll notice I'm not looking up there, not looking up at the ceiling. I'm not dropping the chin to the chest. I have my fist can fit under there and I can look out between my legs. It's my little window. Touch, touch. Just touch your knees if you're not able to get to those feet. That's perfect. You're still going to be working your abdominals. Feel them burning. <laughs> Keep going, come on. Well done, okay. Back to Cobra now. All right, we're going forward and back in front here. Lower yourself down into that push-up. Okay, push-up position. Breathe in. I'm going to just do this in two breaths. I think it flows better. <laughs> Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. And you're not looking to get up really high. A lot of people try and come up really high. I think you just end up bypassing the exercise when you do that. I think just come up a little bit. It's just a small range of movement. You can feel a little bit of work in your triceps because it is essentially a push-up. So we did get the triceps in here a little bit today. But I will be adding in that exercise now when we're done. Exercise 33. <laughs> 33rd minute. Well done, that seems to go so fast. All right, clapping the hands underneath. Okay, so let's get ourselves into position. Okay, lying down again. I'm not placing my neck down to keep that pressure off my neck. Breathing in, one leg. Breathing out, second leg. Belly button is to spine. Your spine is imprinted here. Clap, clap. Good. If you work your tummy muscles regularly on the mat or on your bed or wherever you like to, all of these little tips become very, um, you know, become second nature to you. You don't have to keep thinking about it. But I'm afraid you have to be consistent. Good. Keep going, come on. Keep breathing, breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Great. It's a lovely exercise. You can really feel the burn across your tummy muscles. All right, bird dog. I don't know if it'll work on the chair. I'll give it a go just to see. Do it down on the floor if you want to. Okay, this, this chair does have quite um, a large... It's difficult. I, ta I would... Uh, yeah, you could just try upper half and hold it. Hold it a little bit off the floor. It is tricky on the chair. 
better floor. Okay, let's go down. I have to do the other side. Got to even out my body. All right, so we've done this side. So opposites. Whoops, find that balance. You'll always find one side's a little bit trickier to balance than the other. You can bring it in and add movement if you have good balance. Good. If you have your balance is not great, just hold it. Hold it. Five, ten seconds. Rest. Come back in. Good. Keeping that neck nice and relaxed. And well done. Sorry, I didn't get much in there. Okay, I hope you did. All right, let's go for those tricep kickbacks. Just to say, yes, we got the triceps and the biceps today. I'll go with these. All right, now, sticking your bottom out behind you, bending down. Last move for today. And I hope you enjoyed the workout. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Always really appreciating all of the thumbs up you do give me. Well done. Kick back. Good. Really feeling the triceps working there. Now just make sure it's the upper part of your arm is staying still and it's the lower half of your arm that is actually in motion. Don't be swinging the upper half. Keep it very still to really hit those triceps. And if you remember the opposing muscle groups to triceps is biceps and we work those with the chest deductions and single arm rows today. Well done. What a wonderful balanced workout that was. Okay, 33 minutes hitting the front and the back of the body. And that is the way you should work out all the time. Don't be leaving out certain muscle groups. It's okay to skip a certain muscle group one workout, but if you're going to every workout, and, I, and people do this, they love to work their mirror muscles, and the mirror muscles are the ones you can see in the mirror, hence the name. So that's usually the tummy. For men, it's the chest um, and uh, you know the quads and that. And then they tend to forget about the back, the hamstrings and that. And, and uh, you're left then with imbalances in your body. So it's really important that if you're working the front of your body, you must work the back of your body or you'll end up with problems. Okay, so we did, we hit a lot of muscle groups there today. Like I said, the only ones we really missed out on were the hip flexors, but we do work those an awful lot with the cardio workouts. So as you can imagine, with all those knee raises, knee repeaters. So it's good to get in the other muscle groups as well, particularly the glutes, because they oppose each other, hip flexors and glutes. And we got glutes in set one today. Now I want you to do a cool down. There's a lot of muscles being worked there today. You may have gone with your heavier weight. So I'll link up my cool down for you. You'll find it in the description box below this video here. Don't forget to hydrate. Even though we were quite stationary today, I still built up a good strength, particularly with set four. And believe it or not, so drink your water, get your fluids into your muscles to allow you to recover and come back and work out again. You did a wonderful job. Job. Drop me a comment in the comment box below. Just let me know how you got on with that one and I will see you really, really soon. Bye bye.